Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another episode of Factorio Sea Base. And we got to get some stuff going on here. I actually was recording when it was day in the game, but I had some problems with running out of memory. I, I got like 32 gig on my computer, but I got so many tabs of Google Chrome open, like over 100 tabs or something, because I just... I'm like, oh, should I keep that open? I think I might keep that open. I think I might watch that later or look at that later. I had 100 tabs over. I think maybe it's an Asperger's thing. But anyway, so I had to close down a bunch because it actually was refusing to record because I was using up like 77% of memory. So I'm down to 62% now, which is good. Uh, yeah, last episode, washing. We got washing done. It's beautiful. It's great. It's fantastic. It's completely more than we need at the moment. And I really want to get this set up properly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move all of this stuff all, all the way up to these um, liquefiers. I'm going to move that over a bit. And so we can have this stuff sort of being there. So we can have this set up and then we can have this set up. And we can have room to break everything down, like expand everything. Because these guys... Filtration units. If I want to expand, I got no options. If I want to expand the liquefiers, I got no options. So I need to move the whole thing across. And <clears throat> as we're doing that, we're also going to be switching over to advanced ore refining. Refining. So <clears throat> that's going to be what we do straight off. I think we can get away with just doing advanced ore refining for pretty much refining for everything we need. I don't think we're going to need stuff like titanium and gold and all of this stuff really early on maybe uranium but we're going to do that for now and yeah <clears throat> do all of that stuff properly so you only got six of those uh yeah gonna hand craft some here yeah and then first thing we're going to do is just use a blueprint to move this stuff over Go away. I won't worry about that belt down the bottom. I'll just ignore that for now. <clears throat> so, I'm going to make sure we get all that stuff. Okay, so we can get rid of these pipes and all of this crap up here because we don't need that. And this belt up there. Everything else I need. Get rid of the washing as well. Not sure. Yeah, definitely don't need that. <clears throat> and then we're just going to let the robots destroy all of the things for us, I guess. Don't know where that was heading, but let's get rid of it anyway. Okay, done. <clears throat> so now we just need to cut it off. Let's cut it off by cutting off that first. And yeah, do we need to let this stuff filter through? I'm not sure it really matters because the only thing that's going to have a lot of stuff in it are these chests and we can manually destroy those chests. So we go and destroy like that and then like that. Try not to screw over things too much if we can avoid it. And then we pick up all of the chests with all of the big things in them. And then the robot should do the rest of it fairly, fairly quickly, I'd like to think. Well, I mean, they're still robots, so they're still slow as, but some of this stuff. Yeah, so these would have had a lot of tin backed up inside them. So they take a little bit longer. None of these guys seem to have backup, so that's fine. All right. Oh, you had a lot. So there we go. That was relatively quickly, uh, quick. Even though these bots are kind of slow, that was still good. You must have had a lot as well. Damn. And go away. You. Oh, what? I didn't pick that out. All right, that would have taken a while. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Now, of course, we can keep just pushing out if we need to, and I think we're going to. I think. As far as this smelting stuff is going, we're just going to push out and then push down. And this coal process, uh, if we need to expand then that, then I'm not sure what we're going to do. But 
as long as we don't need to use this for power, I think this should be enough for our plans in the near future anyway. So, okay, that goes like that. Give it a little bit more space and give it a little bit more space on the top side. Now, currently what I'm putting down is going to be, we may have to redesign this actually. We may have to redesign this. Scratch that. We will have to redesign it. Will we? Yeah, because... Ah, we got this stuff. Mm, yep. Because this thing we're researching right now takes in two different bits. It doesn't just take one bit in like these guys do. So yes, we will have to redesign that. Okay. Let's put this down because I love their setup on the right hand side for the um, blast furnaces. Huh. Okay, we're definitely going to have to destroy some of this. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and do that as well. Oh, okay. All right. So we need one sorting facility. Do we want one sorting facility for two of these? I'm not sure we really need it. Because this can, a single lane can do a massive, massive amount of ore. Definitely enough for one sorter. So I feel like we need to make it a one sorter, one thing ratio sort of deal okay okay we still do need this i guess okay where's my sorting facility so that goes like that you need to be a single and you need to be a fairly heavily constrained chest this one is not a heavily constrained chest at all. Okay. So this is going to be our iron up the top. What? That's not, not quite connected. Still not quite connected? What the hell? Oh, this isn't connected to anything. Oops. There we go. Now it should be fine. Okay. up like that excellent and just in time advanced ore refinery don't need to worry about that crap yet do we so ah. see so now you are going to be iron ore and this is going to be coal come down here which Let's get that out of the way first. Excellent. So now we need two of these guys, crystallizers. And we need two sorters. Okay, so I wanna make this compact. I wanna make this the height that it needs to be. And yes, absolutely. So let's start with that. Okay. Uh, we need some small inserts like there. And then we just need you and you and you and you are going to be 
crushed stone. And you and you are going to be. What are you going to be? Sapphirite and Jabolite. Excellent. Crushed sapphirite and crushed Jabolite. And that can go down to some sort of central stone processing place. Okay. So we've got one down the bottom and one up the top. Yeah, all right. Oh. Okay, maybe we missed a step. So, Javolite and Crotonum come out there. Okay, that's good. So, we may need some more of these. Another 50, that should be fine. And then, then, where be my pipes? I don't think I have any. Oh, no, I do. I do have a bunch. And then that goes to a central pipe highway going down here. And we get to our filtration unit. Uh, now these are a very precise ratio. So this needs 25 every four seconds. And you produce uh, 50 every four seconds, same speed. So I don't feel like we need a pipe that gets mixed up because one of these guys will be more than enough to do it for both. Right. So once again, keep the same setup that we had before. Blah. And the same power hole right in the middle. Excellent. And the same thing. Yeah. So we've got water coming through in a vertical thing. And then we got these. Now, if we put down the liquefier, this requires 50 every four seconds. So this guy produces 50 every three seconds. And so the crafting speed is the same. So we are going to have a shared pipe for all of this stuff. Um, yeah, but we definitely don't need more than one liquefier per guy of this. We'll probably just group them so that we can group them or something like that. I don't know where I want to put them, actually. Let's just put them like that for now. And we need excellent. There we go. There's our water. And all we need now is these guys to be doing that. And how did we have this done before? That's interesting. Ah, oh, we had it going down like that. Is that a better way to do it? It makes it easier to get a lot of inserters in here. Uh, which we don't really need. We just need one per second. So a single, single blue one is more than enough. Uh, I don't know. I kind of, yeah, a single blue one is enough. So we have to, do we want to do this? Do we want to go over like that? I'm not sure at the moment whether that's the best idea. But then again, we got 
a fair amount of this space, so I feel like it'll be okay ish. And almost there, almost there. And there we go. Coal filters are still required, obviously, but we can do that. We probably just Keep it going entirely over here. Ah, my wrist brace sometimes hits the side of things or the edge of things and screws up my mouse movement, but in the end it should be all good. So actually, now that we're down here, so this is iron. So this is good, so we don't have to worry about this stuff. We'll put a whole bunch of iron in there so we're not producing way more than we need. Okay, there you go. Put that up and then move it down like that. Why is there not more here? Three. Okay. Man, I got a whole lot of my. How the hell did I get 40 in my inventory? They must have been waiting in some machine, like in this machine or something. I don't know if that makes any sense, but there we go. So now we should have a ton of those guys going on in. We don't actually need a slag feedback line because we're not producing slag out of these guys anymore. We're just producing this stuff. Let's actually reverse this. Put it out the top. Uh, go out a little bit higher. You're producing slag, aren't you? And you are actually feeding into this system. Which I'm not sure we want anymore. What we want is a crusher over here. So you can convert that into crushed. And then you can Ah, uh, where's my things? Ah. Do it like that. And then we're using this line for crushed stone. Which then goes up. And we'll do a bunch of assemblers up here. Or just one assembler, actually, I feel like. That will convert it into landfill. Excellent. So that's taken care of that stuff. You. All right. Whoops, forgot about that. They're so beautifully designed and we forgot about that. So that's gonna require an extra space, isn't it? Uh, can we squeeze that space out somehow? Yeah, I think we can. And like so. And then we got wastewater. Which honestly, where was the wastewater going anyway? I forgot where I was putting it. Oh, up into here, where it was being used for the sulfur. 
We need to be reshaped a little bit. And then we put that down the bottom so it's nicely blue printed. This is probably where all my odd guys are going in these weird blueprint sort of scenarios. Oh, need to put you over those as well. There we go. Sulfuric wastewater, or whatever the hell it's called, gets shoved into there. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So you are that stuff, and you are slag processing, which we'll get in a sec. It needs to be over there. Okay. And this guy is full, not building anything, but. That will be fine. So there we go. That's an extremely thin. It's as thin as this guy, but it does the entire processing all the way down. And I'm not sure of the ratio. We probably could um, maybe do like we could have all these bunch hooked up to like two or three of these sets. And then again, we could have two or three or more of these sets hooked up to one of these because it's inefficient to be using this much processing for just this much here. But we'll see. What's your problem? Sulfuric acid is not running. Interesting that there's sulfur dioxide because you've got no oxygen. Why do you have no oxygen? You should have a lot. Oh, right. Ah, uh, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, because of course, we never stopped this thing before, have we? We've never shut it down. So it's always been running. Always. Well. What we could do. Uh, is we could just do this. This is a very dodgy idea, of course, but it's fine. It is absolutely fine. You will need to be fixed up at some point. There we go. Oxygen, sulfuric acid. This guy should be able to keep up with that produces not a lot of oxygen but a decent amount there we go slag processing just finished as well so now you are going to be producing javolite uranium and fluorite i know what uranium is for i don't know what fluorite is for but we're going to be ignoring it anyway so there we go and there we go excellent Let's just put a fast one there, just in case we need it. So, so begins that stuff. Let's quickly make four more of these. We should be able to... Ah. So it needs to be up here. So we should be able to do that. Build four more of these. No, that's an overlay. What is that? Ah, oh, that's just a problem at the start. We don't care about problems at the start. There we go. And we will just build this out as much as we possibly can. Get all of these guys, get a whole bunch of these guys. whole bunch of power poles as well. I really should make the move to uh, wood bricks, really. You need to be giving me more wood bricks. Because I'm going to need a lot of these poles.
I think I just had so many wood bricks for so long. Ah. Oh shit, I can build one point... no. I thought I could build 1.9k, but that was the wrong thing. That was the wrong thing. Come on, guys. Come on. How many are you missing? I'm not missing that many, but it's hard to tell if these numbers are accurate with regards to how many power poles are actually missing. I think we're doing all right. Pipes may be another thing. Now, you cancel. I'm going to cancel you. I can't cancel you because you're not doing anything yet. But I will. It's alright. We haven't got the water coming through yet for a lot of these guys. So we just want to make sure we cancel them so that we don't produce iron on all four lines. Because that would suck. Okay, cancel. And cancel. Okay. Now... One, two, three, four. And do we want ore crusher mark twos? Don't think we really need those, because I mean the throughput is backing up at these crystallizers. And we can't build the second level ones. And this would build one. I'm pretty sure it's so it builds one thing. Oh wait a sec, what are we talking about? Yeah. So it takes four seconds to build one of these. So that's just slow. Okay, that's just slow. We need, realistically, I should be having like eight of these for just feeding these two or something like that. I mean, realistically, that's what I should be having. But I'm just not. What is your problem? What are you not getting enough of? Those coal, those damn coal filters. Why have I not got that? Thank you. Um, 37. 20. Excellent. 15. 10 of those. Done. And I think after I got this set up, um, I'll probably just do something like... Uh, We'll start to automate some stuff. I love to get red and green signs automated off this, off this bus type deal. I think that's going to be one of the first things I do after this, try and get all this stuff coming down. We got the green algae, we got other things and so on and so forth. And we are gonna be doing a bus. I wouldn't mind doing a nice tight little um, robot based thing, but robots, they're just too far away. And they're going to be far away for quite some time. So, I mean, we need to figure out oil and stuff like that. Which probably isn't that hard, actually. Because we can probably get oil. I mean, we already got plastic. We managed to skip forward to plastic. But lubricant, base mineral oil. I'm not sure uh, how easy that's going to be to skip to that. We may just have to figure something out then. I don't know what we do. Methanol, maybe we can convert that back into something i don't know we're gonna to have to investigate that because that one's going to be tricky very very tricky we got lucky with the plastic that i just happened to think oh yeah we can build methanol and methanol is like the key to plastic once you get methanol you are set usually it takes like five steps of bullshit to get there but we got lucky on this one all righty so you are going to be Copper, you are going to be lead, and you are going to be. You are actually going to be uh, tin. I'm going to make tin up there and then lead. Because lead is like less necessary than tin. Pretty much. Alright. So, Bob and Stereotite. Bob and Stereotite. Uh, I mean, I really do love these combining recipes they're just so magnificent bulb and stereotype 
And if, wow, we got so many ceramics. That's faster. Uses up more water, but that's faster. Ceramic filter. I think ceramic filters are probably a pain in the ass. And then crystal slurry, which I don't know if I've really got a lot of. So, lead, lead. Uh, you, you're the one who needs oxygen, aren't you? Okay, let's get you some oxygen. These, boom, oxygen. You shall be happy. Ish, a happy ish. Now we're gonna to have to redesign this a wee bit just for this particular one and then this is gonna to have to go down and be powered by this guy which is a little bit off but you know that's how it has to be alcohol has to move down and then yeah that sucks you know what? I don't like this anymore. I do not like putting it through the center like that. We're going to keep this normal. And get rid of all these. How much space do we have here? So you've got two spaces here, and that's enough to do stuff with. So. on the far side and put that in there yeah it's going to be a bit wanky if we want to do more lead I'm sure we can manage it. We just have to make sure that we don't put two leads next to each other because then there's just not going to be enough room to do that. It's just going to be impossible. So then we got a line that goes up. Over to here. Where we will funnel that out into nowhere. I guess. We could feed it back, but sulfuric acid is not exactly something that I'm desperately low on at all. Just absolutely not. It's fine. Why are you not running? Lead. You got no lead. Oh, yes, the inserters. The inserters need to be changed. Um, Ammonium and steroids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Uh, lead. I told you to make lead. I could have sworn I told you to make lead. No, I chose. No, this one is tin. This one is tin. Yeah, that's right. We're going to do tin up here. Why did I suddenly change this over to lead? I am so lost. I am so lost. Okay, we'll have to move all that underground shit then, but that's fine. Ding, ding, it's not too bad. You are going to be lead. Okay, that's looking a lot better. So now you are your stuff. Mm. 
you are producing, but you're giving mineral sludge to this guy first, I guess, which will be fine. That guy will back up and then everything will be hunky-dory. So, change you to copper, stereotite, and protonum. And protonum and beautiful you can start with you once you get some coal filters well not that one you that one okay swap these over real quick and you and you and you and you and you and now last but not least lead and yeah definitely if we need more iron i'll probably just put more iron down here i don't need to put the two irons next to each other or anything like that it'd be nice for the bus but what's your problem oh i see what your problem is That is a bit of a problem, actually. You know what? You are special. You get a loader. Because that's far more stone than I thought this guy would be producing. So yes, you get a loader. And this guy should be able to keep up with that. What is the, these coal filters, man, they're just, we need like 100, 200 more of the damn things. And last but not least, let's set up, oh, you are already lead. See, this looks like lead, but it's tin. It's just so weird. Okay, lead. Crotonum and rubite. It's funny how the crotonum is actually first. I thought the rubite would have been first, but at least I'm saying rubite instead of rubyite, which is what I've been saying for some time. So thank God for small favors. Okay. This one should go fast because he's got a lot of stuff backed up over there. And it should actually help that system out. Give me. That's another 150. So hopefully that should be enough to get this whole system backed up. So lead. Got a bit of lead. Got a lot of tin. Got a bit of copper. Iron. It's already backed up. Excellent. Okay. Almost there. 38 minutes to redo this all over again, but. At least I think we're finally at the stage where we can just sit back and say, look, we're really done this time. Like, this may be like a full-on end game setup. Maybe. I mean, these guys are still slow as. <sighs> we might, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we might have to rip it down and do it again. Oh, God. If throughput becomes a problem, we might have to rip it down and do it again because, yeah. I'm just not happy. I'm just never, I'm just never happy. Uh, I tell you what, we might need to rip it down and do it again, but if that happens, I will do it offline, okay? I'm not going to go through another episode where I screw that stuff around manually. Oh, you produce five every second. Okay, you guys need an upgrade. How much does this use? One coal every five. So the smaller thing is still fine. And there we go. That's a lot more coal filters coming out. So that yellow inserter being used really was not all that great. So I think two of these guys are still close to being good enough. Maybe not quite. Let's get another couple. We've definitely got the nodules to keep them uh, keep them going. Uh, 
I wish I could do it a half on one of these. And there we go. All of these guys running full speed. Exactly what I want to see. I want to see this entire line backed up. And I think it will get backed up. So there we go. So all of these running full speed. These guys not quite running full speed. Huh. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Anyway, that's that's been done now. That has been absolutely done. And that is what it is going to be for now for as long a time as we need it. And efficiency, I'll worry about efficiency later because I... If I knew a better approach, I would do it, but there's no way to easily expand part of this. Like if I wanted to say, all right, I'm gonna expand these machines, but I wanna still use these guys, there's no way to do it. There's just no way to easily be able to expand these and go into there. Cause you could add more belts to shove this stuff upwards, but then you're gonna to need to have belts for this and then you're going to have belts for that and you're sharing belts with like eight different materials going up the middle it's just like screw that so what we're going to do all right here's the plan here is the plan we are going to continue to do it this way we're going to have excess blast furnaces and probably excess ore sorting and crushing and all that sort of stuff it's going to be excess shouldn't cost us too much in the power because if they're only running half the time they're only using their full energy consumption half the time um, we can see here, uh, well, they don't use a lot. Where are these damn things? All the way down here. So they're going up and down. They're not consistently using. See, all four of them is 170 kilowatts and they use 150 each. So they're definitely not using the power when they don't need to. And these guys, yeah, they're going up and down as well. So the only thing it's costing us to have too many of these guys is... Um, the resources to build them and the space to put them down, which is fine. So we're going to do that and we will have a proper, extremely awesome setup when I got my nuclear robot set up. And then we can have a separate section for crystallizers, which is massive and completely awesome and all over the place. And we can have a much smaller setup for ore sorting and we can ratio things out a bit nicer so that we're not wasting space. But for now, this is how it is. This is how it is going to be. So that, 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 that. And we're still, our power's gone off a bit actually. We've gone back up to about eight megawatts. Uh, yeah, seven, seven, eight megawatts. These guys actually use up a bit, the crystallizers. 150 kilowatts each. Uh, I wonder what the level two use up. Two hundred and fifty, but they—I think they're approximately faster. Huh? Yeah. But that's it. I mean, we we cannot have less crystallizers than that running. We could—I would want more. I'd absolutely want more. So we just have to eleven. How is eleven using one megawatt? I suppose it only takes four to use one megawatt because there's a bunch of them liquefies as well starting to run pretty heavy those guys take up their own amount we're just going to have to deal with needing a lot of energy and having correspondingly big bases um we could push for ooh, geode that's interesting we could push for stuff like advanced solar uh, if we wanted to this guy takes purple science though to get the advance in the elite solar panels. We could build these if we leave the game running offline for long enough. Um, I think that's something that we probably will be doing is building these once we've got an automated system and then really not have to, not have to build a lot, not have to take up enough space. Or we can just go the other direction, which is just use so much landfill 
that we can basically cover the world and it doesn't even matter anymore. Space absolutely ceases to become a constraining factor. And this guy is getting a decent amount of stone, 174 already. So I reckon that's going to be pretty good. So anyway, we are going to finish this off. Those, I don't want those power palms. Join with a single, there you go. So that is going to be that. Um, and next episode, we are finally going to be doing a mini bus uh, over there, a mini bus sort of setup. You need to be rejoined with your fellow man or your green algae. Damn, we're really using up a lot of green algae here. There's none actually getting through. This might be a problem. We might need a second green algae set up over there. Uh, perhaps. It's probably not a bad idea. We'll see how this goes. Because, yeah, this, yeah, I think that's going to be a thing. We're going to need a second uh, set of algae farms and a second thing over here and coal. We could just ship some coal over or something. I don't know. Just pipe some carbon dioxide over. So, anyway, that has been that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, while I've got somewhat stable power, whoa, that just went up a lot. Oh, it's recharging the accumulators. Of course, that's a lot. But yeah, that just went up a lot. While that's doing that, I think I'm going to leave the game running and I'm going to start getting as much landfill as I possibly can because I'm starting to think a lot bigger and I think the landfill will really, really help us. And we need to think about military as well because we're going to go straight through those guys. So I don't think I've even done basic military. We can do that. I think we've got 10 science lying around in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's a decent amount. Okay. Let's just dump some of this. Bobmonium. That's a lot of Bobmonium. Slag. So, anyway, that has been that. I know I've said that like 20 times now. I just keep on playing because I love this game so much. Nodules. But that really has been that. We are going to finish off right now as soon as I can stop myself from playing. And we are going to say goodbye as soon as I can stop myself from putting stuff in here, which I can't currently. Anyway, we need to get rid of this stuff. So I will see you guys later, I guess. And have a good one. Keep it real, I guess. All right, see you guys later.